goodness with face, pat, and tiz. Yeah, uh, that was that fuckery. And another fuckery I would like to address. <clears throat> and I, I think it might fit into the next subject too, or whatever. When is Jada gonna give Will a break? Like when mm. when is Jada Pickett gonna give her give give her husband a break, man? Like we'll just be out here just trying to be a good human being or whatever. And then that that's my thing. It's like you're not gonna get it's not like Will Smith is one of those reckless men that's like it's not like he's future or something. You know what I'm saying? Like he don't even cuss in his raps <laughs> or, or, or whatever. But I just feel like he just now what what she was saying I, now that what are I you there, talking what? about? What did she do to him? <laughs> What the she, fuck is I I was I was say I was gonna say Jada was um oh. on a table talk and what was it Gwyneth Paltrow <laughs> she has a new show and then they started talking about Will and Jada's relationship all over <laughs> <laughs> that's what you mean with I, Jada not just I'm <laughs> talking about him rapping. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> it's okay, Pat. It's okay. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to <laughs> okay, I'm tripping. My bad. It's me. <clears throat> this is normal. My bad. <laughs> we are talking about stuff just really. Okay, my bad. I'm out of bounds. <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness! <laughs> oh man, I think I'm about to roll up my damn self. Wait a minute, but yeah, that's why I'm. I'm just bringing it up because I don't know. It just kind of. It kind of triggered me when she said certain things, and then when I um, what she said was, um, she, that Will and her they're always in a transparent journey, and that um, at first when she was she was talking about accountability, and at first she was like, "All right, why don't you know? You should already know if you love me." You know, you should be able to read my mind if you love me or whatever. And then later on, they did. So what did you you say, should say? already know what. Did that say, professor? She she said um, she was talking about like even in <laughs> sex or how y'all just laughing at me and throwing me off. You know I'm off right now, right? <laughs> you know I'm on his back. <laughs> I was, um, at me. I was laughing at that nigga face when it froze and it was just teeth. Oh shit. But <clears throat> she she was talking about like um when they were trying to understand understand each other when they were first uh, married and things like that. If she was saying that um if why don't you know these things? If you love me, you should already know. You should be able to read my mind or whatever. And then she said later on that that she realized that you you know basically you can't just read somebody's mind, pretty much or whatever. The long story short, when I um, when I first saw it, when I first saw it, I only saw that one clip, and that shit triggered the fuck out of me. Like, what the fuck you mean? If I love you, I should just be able to read your mind. Like, no, tell me what the hell is wrong with you, pretty much. That shit just 
triggered the fuck out of me. And I think it triggered the fuck out of a lot of people when they saw it because people were just taking the story and running with it <clears throat> throughout the week. But my thing, it seems like I feel like she don't give Will a break. It's like every six months. Like, man, you all like you, you had the guy on your show. He was damn near in tears or whatever. I have yet to see Will do anything publicly like to like embarrass Jada. But I'm like, God dang, just give it a break for a second. Like after that first thing with the entitlement, like that, that situation in, in, in general. I'm sorry. I was like, yeah, you might want to just chill out with just bringing my name up for a while or whatever. And then, but I, I'll give it to Will because he's just out here doing great things. He could he being King Richard in that uh, movie. He's probably somewhere right now skydiving <laughs> out of a, a a plane or whatever. But I feel like he don't ever get a break, man. And I, I feel like it's something weird when the simple fact that he's his face is a meme or whatever. It just makes me feel like that people don't take men mental health seriously or whatever. Like, especially going through what he just did, like, like being able, you, you got to sit there with your wife while she admits pretty much um, an entitlement. I know they had like an open marriage and stuff like that, but at the same time, if Will ever did anything, we know nothing about it. Period. Uh, okay, I, I feel like it's two conversations there. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, Faith. Go ahead, Faith. We're out here having these broad signing these NDAs. That's why you're never here now. Yeah, the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she didn't get that uh, NDA with Alcina, and I'm pretty sure they probably had conversations like. Uh, you said John Cena. August, uh, August, August Alcina. Oh, oh, yeah. Damn, John Cena got that too. Nah, man, that just <laughs> John Cena. Bad, bad, bad. That would be terrible. Peacemaker. Oh, no, no, no. Da, 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 da. oh, quick side note. Quick side note. I don't know if y'all heard, mm-hmm. but. John Cena finally paid homage to Tony Yayo. He said he got his whole style from Tony Yayo. So. I'm glad he's uh, <laughs> finally admitting to his appropriation. Um, you said it before I could. <laughs> shit, man. Um, the Jada thing, man. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and be jackass Tears again for the night. So I'm already on that mode, I guess. Um, it's two conversations. I definitely think there's a something to that people not taking men's mental health and or men's abuse in relationships, whether it be emotional, verbal, or physical, seriously. But I think in this specific situation, I don't really see what the hell Jada said that was so crazy. If going by what you said, I haven't seen the clip, full disclosure. I mm-hmm. haven't seen the clip. I haven't seen this video. I didn't know nothing about this. Um, but if she was just saying that when they were if they talking about when they first got together, she's saying, Yeah, I used to think that he should just read my mind. I think that that's a problem in most relationships in general when you start mm-hmm. out. So that's just being honest, like. I think men and women, when you first get with somebody, you especially if you've been by yourself or you've been with somebody else who knows you really well already, before mm. that, you get you take for granted the little things oh. that the people who have been around you for an extended period of time know about you that others don't. Like there's things about me that y'all get that it took me it took my wife a while to really understand and like get used to because she mm. hadn't had the decade or so before that to get used to it like you know what i'm saying i think we forget that we grow to know people's quirks and likes dislikes pet peeves all that so i can see that that like i don't see the 
the part that puts Will down in that particular comment. Now, if there was more said that I'm missing because I haven't seen the clip or whatever the case may be, then so be it. But in this particular case, I don't really see what she said that was that outrageous in the context that you gave it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I put it, when I first saw it, when I first saw the clips or whatever, I was like, dang, again? Are you going to when are you going to give this guy a break or whatever? But what what this, what about that someone, made you say that? It just seems like every six months, or like not every six months, I might be exaggerated, but every once in a while there's something where it's like I something between Jada and Will or whatever. And I know but what is there like between some, them? That's what I'm I think that's the <clears> context <throat> that I'm not grasping. Like okay. Your like, reaction there, to it some, is not matching what I'm hearing from the context like you're giving. So I'm trying to see, like, what did she yeah, say that made yeah, it seem yeah, like she was yeah. disparaging him or dragging him through the mud again, or like they may be some yeah, friction between it, them? It seems where like did that come some, from? It's always some friction, like ever since that whole Alcina Why, thing. Like this, always, where's the friction? This, That's what I'm asking. All right, the it's just the past couple of instances. Now I would have to bring up. Um, a few other times, but it, it you're talking about right now, yeah. like like you you're you're talking about oh. this. Never mind. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh. Never mind. Don't worry about oh. it. My bad. Oh. But I mean, it it's just I don't know. It just seems like every time I hear or bring them up, there's always like some type of tension or um just just in general, like um every they either is bringing up old past tension or they're on the show saying something about it um on the table talk show saying something about it i just feel like ah, uh, yeah like after that first instance with the entitlement i'm like um can you give him some break to heal before you just start saying any old thing especially now where they take anything as far as your like media drops or whatever and run with it and uh i don't know what it will has done behind closed doors but that's the point if he is hurt by it she should stop <clears throat> if 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 he is bothered by it or if it hurts him she should uh stop. he's he's had like he had it seemed like he had a he had an interview where he had um he was talking about he was contemplating suicide and everything or whatever so like Uh, I, f I know their whole thing is transparency and stuff like that, but I feel like the house need to heal before they can just come out there again after that first instance. Like, I, I'm like, after that first instance, and then me, myself, I know if I would put in that situation, like, look, we need to calm, we need to calm down with that for a good while. You know what I'm saying? Just saying anything out. Because evident we got some issues or whatever. And I mean, the whole time when he went up there himself, he seemed like he didn't even really want to do this, but he felt like he had to do it to show face. Like Will himself. Like, you know, so I don't know. I just feel like like Jeez, man, the guy doesn't really do anything wrong. Like, when's the last time you heard of anything Will Smith has done wrong? Period. Like, just he he does amazing stuff. The only time I've heard a negative thing about Will is from his wife. Mm -hmm. And and that's I just don't I don't like you you you're way too open about <clears throat> your relationship to the public. I, like, I just feel like certain things you should, you know, keep to yourself and, and, and build with each other to yourself before, I mean, they might've already did this. They might've already did this and that's why they, she might feel comfortable just saying all these things out loud or whatever, but, oh um, man, he just, I, I just feel like if, if the roles would switch and Will would have came out of it, he would probably look horrible. 
in the in that same situation. I I just have, I feel like if the roles will switch, they would cancel the fuck out of Will Smith. They wouldn't. They can't wait to cancel Will Smith. It's probably still you know probably people waiting right now. Just like that's why they're blowing this up so they can figure out if it's some Will did that make her just keep coming out with the hey we had this tension talk or whatever. But that's uh, the fuck where I've been seeing. <laughs> Would you say fake? Devil's advocate. Mm-hmm. Just like devil's advocate, that that could be her therapeutic way of working through, working through her her shit. You can like, you never mm-hmm. know what her therapist is doing. They may tell her to talk about it, and then if she has a platform. She never, she may be in the mindset of well, I'm a female. It may be other females who have, are feeling the same way, who have been through the same stuff, and they don't know how to speak on it, or they whatever whatever. So she uses her platform to speak on it. Um, just me as being a married man, um, I feel like my wife would cover that type of shit that she's going to speak on in public with me first, you feel me, before she go on a public platform and discuss our personal business, regardless of what type of relationship we have, open or not. I said, like, certain business, if you're going to talk about it, you're going to at least cover it with the other person. So as far as Will still is being hurt, um, I'm not gonna say they wouldn't be hurt by the business being brought up, but I'm gonna I don't say I'm gonna say they wouldn't be hurt as far as being dragged because he still would have some conscious thought of what she's gonna say and has already mm-hmm. processed. And so her bringing it up may bring up some past feelings, but if he's already processed them and gotten over it and is okay with her talking about it. It really ain't dragging them. It's just like, okay, I knew that shit. So if it hits a nerve, it hits a nerve. But face. Um <clears throat> what did she say or do in this situation that would cause say it hurt? Like I'm really confused and I'm and you seem to have a grasp on it. No. Maybe you could break it down in a way that I understand. Like in this, I, I'm only talking about this situation, not the thing with the entanglement and all that. I'm talking about this particular situation. What is it that is like she's talking about her thinking something? So she's talking about her mistakes in thinking in a relationship. She's not saying that he did anything wrong. She didn't like what is it that like break down that mentality since you seem to get like both perspectives what is it that would make will even feel a type of way about this particular thing because okay if she's accounting for her mistakes you feel me don't you think her mistakes would have affected him some way because it's a mistake in a relationship it ain't a personal mistake that she made on herself so in some way what she did with her mistake may have affected him. So her bringing that shit back up may be a trigger for him. We don't know. But if it's okay with her talking about it, he must have already processed it. You feel me? So to Pat, as far as what Pat's saying, he's speaking on it as far as we're not processing the shit. Her bringing up, regardless of anything relationship-wise, ain't good. You already brought up the entanglement shit. Then you brought up the the sexual pleasing shit. Then you brought up the what sexual pleasing? What? Up. What are you talking about? What sexual yeah, pleasing it, it, shit? She said. She said in there uh, that at first she he couldn't he wasn't pleasing her sexually, or whatever. This is and part of that same conversation. This is something different. Yes. This is yeah, part of the conversation com- that goes with um expecting him to know everything. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I got you. I understand now. Uh-huh. <laughs> Ooh, boy. Oh. Got it. 
That's why it's three of us. <laughs> it's me. I'm, I, it's me. I'm slow. It's me. That's why it's three of us. Totally bro. me. Each other, come on together. Right. Oh, mm. hey, whoever listens to this, um, I'm sorry, it's me. <laughs> My bad, I got it. Okay, Wait, one more question. can I ask Wait. one last? Can I ask one last question? Yeah, I'm gonna shut up. I'm, I'm gonna let y'all mm. go ahead and uh, rock out for a second. Um, face. Mm. That part about mm-hmm. uh, the not pleasing sexually, was that said at all in this conversation before you just said that? <laughs> Did I miss that? To my Did knowledge, that... no. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Just right really on. So Proceed. I just needed that for my own sanity. I, I was, okay. <laughs> all right. I ain't want to, I should have just said it, but whatever. Instead of bring it up, try to be polite, but yeah. He loopy. He loopy right now, right? 